you can see how much, you know, this guy here has got about five yards of separation the second he makes that break. You can see for whatever reason, the angle that this route takes is very unique where it pulls back the safety, but it does not pull back the cornerback. Even with everyone down the box like this and the safety's coming, you can see how this 0-1 trap just blows open a huge hole and I'm just walking. There's, there's five yards to the left of me, five yards to the right of me, and nothing but space going straight down the center of the field. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shot. Sniff of the Man. She's always got a new offense for you guys today, or at least the start of a new offense. Today, I'm going to be going over a new offense from a new playbook that I really haven't touched on much this year. I've been doing it more and more recently, and that's the Kansas City Chiefs. I know that's one of the meta playbooks, and that's a you know a playbook that a lot of people are using. And I'm going to start off with a brand new scheme out of the Flex Y Off Week. Now, I'm going to start off by showing you guys uh, my four play setup and my audibles, like I always do. The star of this video is going to be the shovel option. This is a very rare, very glitchy play. I'm going to show you guys how to run this to perfection uh you can notice that this particular play is all going in one direction the, the the shovel pass to the running back or i'm sorry the shovel pass to the tight end or the shovel the shovel pass to the tight end or the flip to the running back are all going to the left that's why the next run plays uh, are going to be so important because they're basically going in the opposite direction which is going to make this a very tricky run play scheme to stop so the rpo zone peak you really have a choice you have the rpo zone peak or you could go uh with the rpo power peak they're both very good plays i like the zone peak better uh, i think that's a little better to run outside but if you want to run inside you can run the uh, the power peak as well uh, which is also in these in the audible options and then you have a really good inside run which is the oh one trap the Owen trap obviously is always very good uh, I also have a choice of another play which I can choose to either be the slip screen which I'm gonna go over or you also have a PA jailbreak screen I'll show you guys all these plays for the fifth play I think we'll go with the RPO power peak like I said I'll probably show you six run plays but let's go with that first and then on the defensive side we're just gonna go random nickel now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and sports channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's guaranteed to always be the cheapest coins in the market. Or you can actually get 6% off. They're running a year-long uh, promo where you can use discount code EMAIL and get 6% off any of the products on their store. So the number one play is the shovel option. This is the star of this video. This is the reason I'm making this particular video. Uh, it's all about the running back to me. I mean, you can keep with the quarterback, and I'm going to be doing something with the quarterback that makes this play a little bit harder to stop. But ultimately, you really have the option. It's going to be left bumper for running back, right bumper for tight end. I don't really find it really makes a lot of sense to ever pitch to the tight end, but you see you can do that. The shovel option, you see that most used in the NFL is short yardage situations. You can see right there, I did get that short yardage. Um, you know, if, that, if I was trying to get a first down or something like that, I did get that. But ultimately, this is something where I feel like when you're pitching it towards a sand like that, you can see how you could have uh, a lot of issues. So to me, if I'm running this and I'm trying to get short yardage, it's best just to basically Basically, use a quarterback uh, that has you know some ability to just basically run straight forward because a lot of times uh, it gives you that option. You don't have to run the direction that the run play is running. So if you're looking for short yards, that might be the best way to go. But ultimately, like I said, this play all about the running back, all about the pitch to the running back, uh, which you can see I don't actually have to throw it to the running back if they don't cover that. You know what I mean? A lot of times the defender will hesitate like that, and you keep with the quarterback, which is something that's going to be very difficult um, for you know. It's the easiest read in the world. I mean, ultimately, you're just kind of watching uh if this if this guy you know basically crashes in or not like i said if i was running this with a super fast quarterback you can see that might have been a touchdown by lamar jackson you can see how they're not really covering that very well this entire play the running back or the quarterback does not get covered very well but ultimately my goal is to pitch it out to the running back if i have that opportunity now, right there that was probably the best pursuit that was actually the worst run considering that they you know they pursued pretty well in the running back but that's really part of the job of the quarterback is to take on as many defenders as possible before you pitch that ball out so let's watch the replay here as you can see here once again everybody's come my way we have the two middle linebackers come my way this defender stops i hold this ball to the point where i can basically get to that next level get those linebackers to commit to the quarterback before i pitch out then when you just when i do that you can see there's nothing but space out here this is a 10 to 15 yard carry every single time if i have a fast running back, i just pitch that running back and run to space we're going to do that one more time like i said this play i don't think i've highlighted just how glitchy this play could be i find for whatever reason that if you do something with the quarterback you can actually draw more attention before you get that pitch out as you can see right there i tried to do a little bit of a hurdle so to recap you have the tight end which 
which is an option, but it's really all about the quarterback and the running back. As you can see right there, he commits. I get it out. I don't really have a great running back, but I'm getting 15 to 20 yards just about every single time I run this. Now, obviously, you can't keep running this play over and over because eventually your opponent's going to recognize the formation and they're going to start, um, you know, basically usering or pinching or shifting or whatever, setting up their defense to try to stop this play. But you have a really good counter play, which in my opinion is going to be the zone peak. You also have the power peak, which I picked, but ultimately the zone peak to me is like the best option based off the fact that this is more like a stretch run to the other side. So you can see the block is going to hold up a lot better and you can have explosive runs in both directions if your opponent starts doing that. It's really up to you though, whether you like the zone peak or the power peak. Here it looks like we have a, uh, a blitz coming. So I'm definitely going to go with the zone peak because I do feel like this is going to be one of the better stretch runs to the outside. Like I said, that there, the blocking just holds up a little bit better. You can see we had a, a serious blitz and I'm shocked that I didn't get a touchdown. To be honest with you, the cornerback came from all the way to the other side of the field. But you can see how you can have explosive runs in both directions. Like right here, my, my tight end is outside of their widest box defender. This is a perfect opportunity to go the opposite way, just as long as those blocks hold up. And you can see we're running into a star player who's uh, got off that block pretty quick in Judon. That's about the only thing you got to worry about. But pretty much anytime my tight end is outside of their widest, uh, you know, box defender, I probably can get outside, man. That's a superstar, Matthew Judon. That's going to be a little bit harder. But ultimately, uh, that's a really good play. Now, here we have no real gaps. This is something where um, if I want to try to switch over to Owen Trap, that's probably going to be one of the better runs. I find this has a lot of success against defenses like this that have no gaps at the, at the alignment. It works best against defenses with gaps, but I also find that a lot of times it can really find space where there's not a lot of opportunity otherwise. The Owen Trap is going to work better against something like this. We have a little bit more spacing. Even though we have a double safety blitz coming down the box, you can see how that spacing and the, the, the way the blocks come around, it's going to create a lot of space up the middle. Even with everyone down the box like this and the safety's coming, you can see how this Owen Trap just blows open a huge huge hole and I'm just walking there's there's five yards to the left of me five yards to the right of me and nothing but space going straight down the center of the field so that's pretty much it for the best run plays but I said I wanted to show you guys some good trick plays so we're going to go with the PA jailbreak screen this is really going to be best against plays like cover three cover three and cover four any defense where these uh, defenders play off uh, you can basically get it out, and I don't know, Sanders really ain't the guy, but you can get it out to that, uh, you know, the cornerback drops back right away. That's the easiest way to describe this. Any play where the cornerback immediately drops back, you know, they're already at like an 8-yard depth. They're going to drop back to a 10 to 12-yard depth. When that happens, you can immediately get this play out underneath and then basically just get a nice catch and run for maybe 5 or 10 yards, depending on how fast the receiver is doing it. And then you also have the halfback slip screen, uh, which is something I'm not really going to throw to any of these receivers. This is something if they're really sending a heavy blitz, I can basically get it out to the running back uh, and just basically, you know, it's just another wrinkle to catch your opponent off guard. It's just a really good, um, you know, it's really for heavy blitzers. It's not something that I would really use much against any other defense i don't know if they're sending a blitz here because i'm kind of going against random but you can see we're getting some some random uh, blitzes here and then like i said the, the the blocking out here on this type of slip screen is usually pretty good and the play i'm going to show you guys today is a super explosive pass play that has a lot of different uh glitchy one play touchdowns in it and that's the double post in so let's go and let's pick that on the offensive side we're gonna get right into the video we're gonna start off with cover two like we always do though i'm not really in the uh, normal cover two let's go let's go with a normal two for five cover two we're gonna start for cover two and work way back like we always do now against cover two we're gonna have to make a motion that we're not always gonna have to make but you can really motion either one of these receivers they're both on pretty much the same pattern i find that this one works best but all i'm gonna do is motion him across put the a route on a streak this is gonna be the way to go you can also put the b route here on a drag you put them on anything i find that shortening that route is probably best as you can see it takes that corner's attention and then it basically lets me throw outside over the top so very easy one play touchdown against cover two as you can see that's uh you know the cornerback is preoccupied with that drag i find that most of these plays are going to really be helpful to run from the hash mark to the open side of the field uh and like i said there's more than one option here when it comes to cover two i can motion this guy across it'll have the exact same effect as long as i put the a route on a streak it'll have the same effect but you could also put the x route here on a fade and you'll see how because of what the a route is doing uh you can really have a lot of success out here on the opposite side of the field too this is a play that really destroys cover too is the bottom line so if you want to work that fade you can do that you could also throw to the tight end i mean there's a lot of different options here when it comes to cover two um but ultimately right here, i mean if they, if they don't press that tight end and get better you know better work on that tight end off the line i mean all three of these receivers are going to be open also going to be a very explosive play against cover three so we're just going to pick that again on defense we're just going to pick cover three sky although it doesn't really matter if it's mad this play's got quite a setup you want to motion across the tight end pretty much every play you're going to motion somebody and you're pretty much going to be running from the hash mark just about every single time too i could leave that 
guy on a uh, on a on the route that he's on but ultimately putting him on a streak and then putting the x route on a slant is probably best although the x route you can put it on a drag you can make him a check down you can do anything you want with him uh the running back on a block but the most important part is going to be the b route you're going to put him on a comeback route this is going to be uh what creates the one play touchdown against cover three spot a little bit of time and then once this guy gets inside the safety you can see he's pretty much gone although there it's a little bit you need a little bit more timing to get up that seam but you can see because i'm running on the open side of the field because the safety is essentially uh, gonna treat like a man coverage once he gets into his area. I can throw it at any point in time because there's no way that that cornerback can make a play. There's nothing with space as long as I bullet it and pass lead it in time uh, before he gets too far across the field because the, the cornerback will come back into play. But from here, he's not. So we're gonna do that one more time. Like I said, it's pretty easy to set up. You can do it all while the tight end's motioning. And then, like I said, it's really all about that wire out who's not a very good receiver. He might be part of the problem is he's kind of getting bumped around there, but you can see if you get that within timing, I mean, the guy's only a 9-2 speed receiver and he's getting gone against cover three pretty easily. So Blake can also have a lot of success against cover four, but we're gonna do cover four uh, regular, not cover four match. As you, I'm not even sure where they have a cover four in here, but let's go and let's find it right here. We've got the cover four drop. So this play here, once again, very different setup. Uh, I can do the motion again, although realistically, I don't have to really do anything because I, the, the, the tight end here really is just going to be best if he's left in a block. The B route here, I'll put in a drag, and then the X route here, I'll put on a streak, and that's pretty much it. The Y route here is going to be the route once again. I'll have a lot of extra blocking. You can see we've got one of the best cornerbacks in the game out here in JC Jackson, who's not on this team anymore. You can see he gets right over the top of it. I've shown this route against cover four in the past. You can see, for whatever reason, the angle that this route takes is very unique when it comes to cover four, where it pulls back the safety but it does not pull back the cornerback as it gets behind him he's too far behind like i said that's one of the best cornerbacks in the game a superstar cornerback and he, he does make a better reaction on it than most players but you can see i mean I, if i could have got a little bit more of a pass that i probably would have had an easy one play touchdown although there i pretty much get tackled on the one if it's easier to remember you can do the exact same setup uh, as the cover three play you can see this exact same setup but the b route here has to be on either a smoke or a drag the smoke's fine but the drag is probably best because the drag will number one be able to check down and number two uh it'll pull the cornerback in more which is what i want because i'm really trying to get outside over the top of them as you can see right here it really does a much better job so that's probably the full setup and definitely the easiest way to remember between cover three and cover four so we'll do that again same setup with the tight end although i might have accidentally did something there no i did not so we're good like i said same setup double drags good check down against pretty much any defense uh, i like to roll inside the pocket just to buy myself more time cornerbacks out of play and i got a huge one play touchdown that time as you can see it's a very easy touchdown against cover three and cover four so that's pretty much uh, every zone coverage with the exception of cover four match we'll show that real quick before we get to our cover our man coverages so let's go ahead and let's pick cover four quarters now this play is a natural one play touchdown against cover course. I don't have to do anything. The Y route and even the X route are probably both going to be gone. Really it's just which one gets open first. Uh, but they're both going to beat uh, cover four quarters because cover four quarters, this, this place is perfectly designed as pretty much every uh, receiver is going to get open because cover four doesn't really handle crossing routes too well and it doesn't handle post routes very well. As you can see right here, both of these receivers are going to get open. But to just keep it simple, the Y route is going to be the read once again. So that's all the zone coverage. Let's go and let's do some man coverage. We'll start off with man cover two. When it comes to man coverage, uh, man cover two especially relies on pressing uh, the receivers to basically have success because they play down right in the receiver's face. So it's really going to be best. Uh, to, you'll do the exact same set that I was showing you guys previously when it comes to cover two. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing, exact same um, you know, drag. I'll do my fade, I'll do my streaking tight end. And you're going to see how the wire out here can get open. As you can see here, the, 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 the drag definitely helps to get that receiver off that press. But it's going to be better if you do it a different way. The best way is going to be if the cornerback follows, if you know it's cover two, just basically motion snap it. As you can see right here, he's not going to get that press now, and he's going to get open to the sideline a lot easier than if you would let him get set, even with the drag receiver coming to the area. There is another setup that can have success against cover two without making any motions. If I put the Y route here on a fade, I put the A route on a block and release flat, and then I put the B route on a 10 yard out route, I can have uh, success against cover two, you'll see here in a minute. But this is kind of different because you're gonna have to double team this defensive end for this play to have success. Otherwise, the check and release will just let the defender come straight in. Uh, so that's something that you have to keep in mind. But you can see here how the middle the field does get wide open for this play so this is a one play touchdown against cover two is probably better but it takes more of a setup and you have to basically set up your offensive line to block so while this block and release is really glitchy 
it uh, it really messes with the um, the blocking of your offensive line. So you have to remember to double team this guy so that somebody blocks him. If you don't double team him, he just kind of lets him run straight past. Uh, and if you have a really good defensive player like we do there, it's going to be very hard. But you can see right here, like the, the, the safety just essentially fades away and just lets this guy go straight up the middle. So that's probably the hardest man coverage anyone play touchdown against. The easier ones are going to be the cover one hole. So let's go ahead and pick that. This one here, I mean, there's a lot of really good routes. I don't really have to make any adjustments. The Y route here is going to cross without any adjustments anyway. And you can see we can get a very big play. The tight end's a very good play. Um, there's a lot of really good options here. So against cover one, I mean, you really have a lot of options. Pretty much everything's going to work here. The tight end, once again, is a very big play. As you can see, he's going to get beat. He's beating a safety. Um, that's something that's going to be successful against just about any defense in the game. Another really good one is going to be the sluggo scene. This is a one-play touchdown against most man coverages. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pick. Uh, you know, it's not going to be cover two unless they're putting their safeties into like curl flats or something like that which a lot of people do but it will be things like cover one hole so let's go let's pick that this play here you don't need any adjustments this uh, sluggo route is really meant to burn uh you know most cornerbacks as you can see right here we got the best one of the best cornerbacks in the game getting absolutely torched by one of the better receivers in the game but let's go to the replay here because you're not going to get this look every single time but if somebody's running a lot of cover one man coverages you can see how much you know this guy here has got about five yards of separation the second he makes that break so without a doubt if you have somebody running a lot of cover one man or even cover zero you can pull this out at any point in time and have a lot of success so i'm going to do that one more time let's just show you guys if i'm going to do any adjustments i'd say putting the x route on the drag just myself a check down is best because not every time is this cornerback going to bite but you can see jc jackson is as you as two plays in a row he's getting very easily passed so that's something to keep in mind i actually wanted to run this play until uh until the the route fails just to show you that it does but it's not failing it just keeps beating it so ultimately um you know just bear in mind that it doesn't work every single time but you can see here it is now there's one more good pass play out of this that i'm going to show you guys and that's the pa go slot cross so let's pick that on well, defense we're gonna pick random all i have to do on this play here is put the a route on a streak put the x route on a drag i'll block my running back because that's not really necessary but this is pretty much the play here as you're going to see the y right here is going to get open against just about every single man or zone the drag wow will as well as you can see this is pretty much going to be the setup there's really nothing else to this play this is something that i put out before in other formations and other packages where this deep crosser here beats just about every single defense in the game uh and the drag does too the drag should check down but ultimately this is obviously is going to be a much bigger play as long as your opponent doesn't set the, the, the zone drops to take that away so i'll go and do that one more time like i said i like to play action but i don't really need it as you can see right here once again we got a man coverage man coverage zone coverage doesn't seem to matter that route pretty much gets open every single time and you always have your dragging check down uh which will get open as well so i'm going to do it one more time you can leave the, the the play action because it does give you another good option underneath as you can see right here there's nothing really out here but ultimately that'll, that'll give you three levels of passing which is nice but sometimes you want the extra blocking so this would probably be the full setup as you can see here. Now we have three options uh, and the running back here is, is actually one of the better ones. I mean, you can get out to him really quickly compared to the other ones, which you have to wait till it comes across the field. So I definitely like those three levels of passing, the three different layers. The only thing you have to remember, though, is the uh, the other two crossing patterns do beat man coverage, where this particular one does not. Here you can see it looks like we have a hard flat. Uh, we got to go up top again. So, you know, if you set it up the first way, you know that the, both the routes work against man or zone. If you set it up this way, I like it better, but this really only works against zone. This route here does not really beat anything else. It does get open first, though. It's the quickest route to get open, so you can easily take that if you're getting pressured by some, you know, if somebody's blitzing you or something like that, or the blitz gets in, you can easily take that and make that play first so that's that's the video if you guys want to see more plays out of the kansas city chiefs do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below